You know, Mario, for once I think you've got the right idea. This level's full of lava, it's hot, it's dangerous, it's scary. I think I'm just gonna sit this one out. What do you say about that? Do it! W what Just do it! Shia LaBeouf? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! But Mario's still asleep. Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible! Except waking up Mario. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not gonna stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Mario. Do it! Okay. Just do it! Alright, yes, I'll do you it. Can. Yes, I can. Just do it! Let's do it! Come on, Mario. Mario. If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. Ah, Mario's still asleep. I give up. Greetings YouTube, I am Marcus Raven, and welcome again to another episode of Super Mario 64. Our good friend Shia LaBeouf gave us the motivation we needed to continue, so let us continue! This is the first thing you see when you enter the basement after the bunny. Lethal Lava Land. Now I may have done these a little out of order, I think the desert level comes first, but I like this stage. So don't be a pushover, if anyone tries to shove you around, push back! It's one-on-one -on -one with a fiery finish for the loser. So yeah, lots of lava. Lot, lots of things that can burn your pants. And then... Yeah, that! These bullies... I mean, that's literally what they're called. I think they're like Bully Bert or something. I don't remember their full name. Basically... You have to run around and push them into the lava, and to do that you either have to punch them at the right time, jump on them... It's rather difficult. Because it's very easy to line this shot up just wrong, and you end up getting pushed into the lava yourself. Now, this is neat. We'll do this later. This is the eight red coins. They're all right there. We're going to continue pushing these guys. Get them out of our way. Much better. Now, I had mentioned in a previous episode, I think, if not, I'm mentioning it now, about your shadow being absolutely imperative to success on difficult jumps. Wow, I survived that rather well. Basically, your shadow will always be directly underneath you, so whenever you're a little worried about lining your jump up, look for your shadow. If you can see it, that's where you will land. So, first star's out of the way, nothing too difficult. Whee! Bully the bullies. This one's slightly different. Do we go this way this time? Hot! My tuckus! Got hot cross buns going on there. So we come out to this platform here. Also a tip, you push in the direction you're facing. Try to save the coins. Oh, I almost got a two for there. That would have been awesome. Yeah, try to save the coins for refilling your health, except for the ones that come off the bullies, because those will disappear after a while. Biggin! Of course, you can always turn the tables on him like that, and land on him while your burn tookus is going off. Alright. Two down! This may be a very easy episode. I say that, 
and then it's probably going to end up needing editing for a million deaths. We'll find out. Ah, eight coin puzzle with 15 pieces. Now, I could do the hundred coin thing right now, but I'll do it a little bit later. I usually say that it's easier to do it on the eight red coin thing because you're going to be picking them up anyway and they count towards 16 of the total coins. This one's just easier to grab them all. Oh! Yeah, one thing is the piece kind of jiggles a little before it moves. Might be a little more difficult to see on the Virtual Console's effectiveness with its rendering of polygons here, causing a lot of flaky edges. But the pattern on the middle of the piece will shake along with the edges when it's getting ready to move, so that's what you want to keep your eye open for. So yeah, one of the fastest stars in the game. Red Hot Log Rolling. See, the first part of this stage really does go by quickly, because we are only, what, a few minutes in? I mean, how am I going to pull a 20-minute episode out of this, you ask? Just wait. The 100-coin star is yet to be done. We might have to use the trick from the first episode where I made it look all fancy VHS tape style. Kind of. Okay, so we come back this direction. Oh, I wasn't paying attention! Wasn't paying attention! Ho 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 ho. Saved it. I'm gonna pay attention to where those plumes are and walk around them as needed. Or get lucky, like I did. Here's our log, and there's our rolling track. Nope, don't get rolling the wrong direction. That's just gonna end up as a bad time. So you do run a little faster than the log rolls, so you want to kind of line yourself up a bit so you can make progress across and time your run so that you don't fall off, but at the same time you don't run to the other side of the log and land in the lava. A lot of explanation for something that didn't really take that long. Nope. Quick crawling. Okay, I want you to jump. Let's just jump, shall we? We don't need a baby Mario set up in here. Hot-footed into the volcano. See, now here's where things get interesting. And I get a little brave and stupid. Best idea ever, just run into the volcano. And from your starting point, you go right and you follow this path. to deal with. In case I fall and have the ability to come back up, I don't want to deal with him again. Coin didn't make it. Okay. Watch out for that panel. And now that Virtual Console renders those polygons really well, you can kind of see it coming. But if you're just kind of bum-rushing it, you're going to get squashed. Got to be careful there. Okay, there is a heart here that you can run through very carefully to refill your health if need be. So if you fall and you land in the lava, but you do eventually touch solid ground before dying, you can make your way back up to that heart. And another bully. Okay. Now here's where it gets interesting. Lining up these jumps. Because it's kind of difficult to do at the strange angles Lakitu gives you. Okay. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. So that heart that's up here is going to be very useful. The faster you can get it to spin, the faster your health refills. That's a very small space to get that thing to spin, so be careful. 
Let's try again, shall we? Can I? No, not really. Well. No, not again! magic on. Bing, shala, bing, bala, boom. Boop. Well, thank you, editing magic. Here we are again. Interesting note. If you die in the volcano, when you jump back into the portrait, you start back in the volcano. You don't have to run through the stage to get back in there. Mm, looks good. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. That was not the one I was intending on jumping to, but that'll work. Editing magic and platforming magic at its best. Let's get this last one and then we'll knock out the 100 coin star. Elevator tour in the volcano, that's right. We are going back to the volcano. Now since we've obtained a star, yes, we have to start back at the beginning of the stage here. Still being crazy. I'm good at crazy. Okay, so instead of turning right, we go left. There's another path off this direction. And an elevator. Yes, these count as elevators. Follow the little BB pellet pathway. Oh, camera controls are fun. Jump! Okay. Oh, look, more climbing. Yeah, this is interesting. Because if you try and get on top of the pole, that flame bar can hit you. Yeah, getting hit with fire this high up usually guarantees an immediate tr trip down into the lava. There's our star. We just gotta make a few more jumps. I just want the camera to cooperate. Again, watch your shadow. Get an angle that works best for you. Whew! Platforms are small and intimidating. A little bit nerve-wracking, but we got it. Alright, let's go get the 100 coin star now. Let's see... Yeah, we'll just use that one. Depending on the star that you choose, conditions in the level may be different. This one doesn't really have too many different issues going on with it. Oh, read the sign. Okay, that's a shell that we can ride. We don't want to use that yet. And... Oh, come on, really? I was hoping that'd be our first coin. Look at me! Look at me! I'll take that as the first five, then. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that star again. And let's see, if I can wait out the puzzle solving itself... Should get some coins in the middle. Yep. Fancy. Alright, boys. Take a lava bath. Well, I got one out of them. That'll work. I'll take it. 
And of course, these paths that I'm taking to get these coins, you can go however you want through the level, whatever is most comfortable for you. So we've got 37 so far. I think it'll be easier to just grab these and go. Oh, hot foot. See, now here's something not fun. Yeah, I probably didn't need to do that. Let's fix it, shall we? Got a Mr. I over here. We might not need the shell or the volcano. There's a slim chance, anyway. Oh, we're gonna at least need the shell. We might not need the volcano. Okay, death-defying jumps. Can we quit those? Yeah, a few more coins there. Okay, that's all of them there. Let's come over here and just inspect. Yep, there's coins. Yeah, can we zoom out a little? That makes me feel a little claustrophobic when you're that close, look at you. We're okay. Back at the beginning of the stage. So let's go ahead and grab our shell. And we'll try and skate around the stage to get the rest of the 22 coins that we need. This is where things get fun and exciting and deadly. Very deadly. At the same time, if you can control yourself, it's not so bad. The trick is just keeping that control and not running into things. The camera changing on you doesn't help every so often. Okay, ten more coins. Can't find them out here, then we'll go into the volcano because I know there's at least 20 in there. Come on, camera. Anything? I don't think they put the shell on the log rolling one because I just proved that you could easily get it with the shell. Ah, a few more. up just because solid ground solid ground we have five coins to go we don't want to screw up this close to the end there we go Whew, that is a delightfully dangerous one. Yes, I would like to save. We can now open the star door on the third floor. And we have all the caps. Can't get to the third floor yet, because we still need the key. But we are good to go there. Now, if you've been following my Let's Play along closely, you'll notice that my life count went down. That's because I ended up resetting the game to try and attempt getting the bunny in the basement to reappear. And there he is! You son of a nugget! You're not even worth my time. 
But what is worth my time is letting you guys know that we are going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. So we knocked out that world fairly quickly. And we will continue on to the desert stage, which I'll just show this real quick here. The desert stage is this wall back here. It doesn't look like a portrait. But you see that shimmer? That wiggle? Yeah. Yeah, look at that wiggle. That is a stage, all right. So... But we'll tackle that next time. This next stage is going to introduce the threat of Mario losing his cap. So that ought to be fun. But I have been Marcus Raven. If you want to catch me live, you can pop onto Twitch at twitch.tv slash MarcusRaven86. If you want to see my stream schedule, head on over to nevermorestudiosonline.com. And as always, thank you for playing and I'll see you next time. Bye bye Yeah! I see you, do you see me? Am I too fast for you, Mr. I? Check it. Hey guys! Okay, this is fantastic. You cannot defeat me!